This lecture is going to show the difference between a single step income statement and a multiple step income statement. So what is on the screen right now is the single step income statement. It is what we are used to seeing. It has our revenue, and in this situation we have sales and rent revenue, and then it lists out the expenses, and it comes to a total expense, and then it calculates net income as revenue minus expenses. When we start looking at a merchandising company, which is a company that sells merchandise rather than a company that provides services, we often will do a multiple step income statement instead. So before we go into it, let's just talk about some of the differences in a merchandising company versus a service company. So in our revenues, instead of calling it fees earned, we're now going to call our revenues sales because now we're actually selling merchandise. So sales is a revenue account. And then our biggest expense for a merchandising company is usually cost of merchandise sold. That is exactly what it says. It is the cost of the merchandise that we sold. The multiple step income statement will list out your sales and then right underneath it, it's going to take out your cost of merchandise sold so that we can get to this um, subtotal called gross profit. Sales minus cost of merchandise sold will give us gross profit. That is essentially how much we marked up our goods. We need that to be high enough to be able to cover all these other expenses. And so when we look at our other expenses, we're going to break them down into operating expenses, administrative expenses, and then we're going to have other income and expenses. So let's talk about how we can tell if it's a selling or administrative or other expense. Now, if you were the CEO or the CFO of a company, you would know your expenses because they would be your own companies. You would know, hey, this I use because it helps me sell my product, or hey, this I use in my corporate office. But since we are doing the books for basically textbook problems, the textbook is going to have to give us hints. So I want to tell you about some of those hints that they're going to give so that you can categorize these correctly as selling or administrative. So if it's a selling expense, this is everything really that happens inside the store. So if you think about a wireless carrier, they have a corporate office, and inside that corporate office, all their administrative costs happen. And then they have stores. That's where you and I can go in and buy a phone or sign up for service. That's a store. And those costs that happen inside the store are going to be your selling costs. So any expenses that have the word sales or have the word store are going to be selling expenses. Other selling expenses will be advertising and delivery expenses. Advertising because this is how we get the word out to make a sale. And delivery expense because this is what we are offering a delivery to our customer in order to make the sale. Now let's look at administrative expenses. These are items that happen inside the corporate office. The hints that a textbook will give you is that it will say office. Notice all these say office so that we know that they happen inside the corporate office. Um, other things that could go here would be like the CFO because um, the CFO would actually work inside the corporate office. Alright, so then we're going to add up our total selling expenses and then our total operating expenses and then we will be able to calculate our income from operations which is your revenues minus these expenses and that gets you to your income from operations. Below that you will put other income and expenses that are not directly related to your normal course of business of buying and selling this merchandise. So for us it's rent revenue and so we may have an extra office that we rent out we, we get the rent from that and then interest expense so we may have borrowed some money and we're paying back some interest on that and so that goes under other income and expense. So then we take our income from our operations and we net it plus 600 minus 2440 and we get to 75,400. So this is a multiple step income statement because it breaks out and has some subtotals. What does it break out? Well it breaks out gross profit which is sales minus cost of merchandise sold. Then it categorizes our expenses into selling and administrative. Then we have a subtotal of income from operations. Then we bring in our other stuff and get to our net income. So let's look through here and make sure that we've answered all of these common questions that students ask. We have what is sales? Sales is our revenue account. We have what is cost of merchandise sold? This is an expense account. What is gross profit? It is sales minus cost of merchandise sold. How do I know if my expenses are selling or administrative? Well, selling expenses 
are going to be things that happen inside the store or things that help you sell to a customer. And administrative is things that happen inside of a corporate office. Um, and then finally, what would this statement look like if it was a single step income statement? It would look like this. It would still have the same bottom line net income. It just would not be broken down into those subtotals.